or the serious gamer. Hey, it's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our team deathmatch run and gun video series, and this is Afghan. For this run and gun, I'm using the uh, what I call the in your face setup, and this is the I uh, use the MP5K with silencer, the model 1887s with akimbo claymores, double stun grenades, Marathon Pro as the uh, first perk. Lightweight Pro as a second perk, and Ninja Pro as the final perk. And again, just as a quick side note, for any of those going to whine about me using the 1887s as a noob setup, I use them to get kills, plain and simple. If someone else is using them, I use the ACR to drop them. Any weapon you use in this series is only as good as the person using them. Keep that in mind. Alright, as far as my kill streaks go, I'm using the Harrier Strike, Chopper Gunner and Tactical Nuke. Yes, I'm a little ambitious. I likely should have uh, set it on Predator Missile as I'm not usually too uh, successful in getting a Tactical Nuke on Afghan. Anyway, there's no harm in doing it. I still uh, fared pretty well in this one. All right, let's uh, let's start this. Now, in the beginning, obviously, your primary weapon is on. In this case, it's the MP5K with silencer. Now, normally, I would actually start on most maps, if I'm doing running and gunning, I'm going to start with uh, the silence, only because if I, if I can catch someone with the silencer, you know, I'm able to penetrate deeper into the enemy territory without being noticed. Whereas, obviously, if I'm carrying the 18s with Akimbo, the second that I launch Let These Puppies Go, you know, they're going to know where I am. There's no mistaking that. So, this guy here, as you notice uh, in my last Afghan video for the tactical approach that I used, I used the stairway. I always use the stairway. Just for that guy that was in the cave there, he was uh, expecting that I was going to go on the uh, on the inside perimeter and not use the stairs because hardly anyone ever uses that. So, that's why I use it. And it's usually a more effective way to, uh, to move around the, the map. Now, typically, I like to stay around the perimeter of the map. However, in certain cases, like this one here, you know, if... Uh, I think there's a guy up on the wing. In this case here, because I kind of know where the enemy is, I take my chances and I cut across. And this guy's obviously trying to cut, jump across from the wingtips onto the either pipes or the side of the mountain there. There's a little place that you can jump onto. It's not a good idea in deathmatch... Uh, to be doing the wing jump only because you may get one kill but there's no place for you to go when you're highly susceptible to getting uh, nailed by the enemy once you've made a single kill I mean I know if, if it was me I'd be gunning for him right away as soon as I spawn now, in the cave there uh, just to go back you saw that uh, flare which is the uh, spawn flare now when they use that if you see that there and you killed someone just stand there and wait they get to respawn one more time it's like getting a spawn kill guaranteed. So when you see those flares, if you kill a guy nearby, wait near that flare, wait for him to respawn, get the other kill, it'll go away, and then keep going. And there was that other guy. So obviously, there's the one that I was talking about going across the plane. He obviously was like, oh, I'll just try it again. Stupid, stupid thing to do. Don't be going on that plane, you know, in deathmatch. Search and destroy if you're lucky enough to get on there. Yeah, you can actually probably eliminate everyone because they're not looking up there. It's not a very, you know, likely place that you're going to be able to get up there alive. So, but in deathmatch, don't do it. I mean, it's, you get maybe one kill. In that case there, maybe that guy killed one of my teammates, but he was pretty easy pickings because I do look there. So make sure you look there for fools that climb up there in deathmatch. Not a good place. Again, taking the outside, using the stairs. I do not want to take the top. If someone was at the, uh, the side that was to the uh, right there on the rocks there, typically they're looking at that top area there and not through this area uh, or actually where I was before and not the uh, the lower stairways. So don't underestimate that and use it a lot. Basically all I do uh, in deathmatch when I run and gun is I'm constantly trying to flank the enemy. Wherever my team is, I do not want to be. That's sort of front lines. If there's like even if a UAV, most of the enemy players are going to go where the high concentration of, of uh, enemies are. So they're going to want to go there. One lonely guy, maybe someone comes after me. And then I have to hope to God that I'm faster than him. But, you know, I like to stay away from my teammates. Because technically, if your teammates are on the west side, the enemy is going to be spawning on the east side. 
it just automatic, they go away from where the concentration is. They spawn where it's safe to spawn. So if you're able to put on uh, lightweight and marathon and quickly get to the other side, you're basically deep into enemy territory, and that's where you want to be. You want to get the kills. You don't want to be sitting back, you know, with your teammates and taking cover with them because, you know, you're going to get friggin' noob tubes and grenades thrown in there like crazy, hoping for multiple kills, and you definitely don't want to give them that because of the kill streaks. So, that's a huge thing for me. Stay away from your teammates. Don't move with them. I know it's supposed to be team-based, but in this case here, if you want a lot of kills, stay away from them. Go away from where your teammates are. Just like that, you get a chopper gunner. Now, I don't know. I don't... Maybe if I had the Predator, I'd probably actually do a little bit better here. I would have already had some kills. And now I'm going to obviously release the chopper gunner. I keep going because... You know, I, I know I was, when I was there, I knew I was deep in enemy territory. For me to just turn around and run may have been foolish because they may have shot me in the back and maybe I could have gotten more kills and gotten closer and then eventually uh, cleared out enough to actually uh, be safely initiate the chopper gunner. But whatever. With the chopper gunner, constantly be scanning. No, don't just look for, you know, in this case here, these guys are kind of noobish. Uh, so, you know, none of them have um, cold-blooded pro, which would make it hard for me to see. But technically, as long as you see a few of the enemy players, even if they don't have that red box around them, you know, you're, you're going to be able to spot them down there. Just have a sort of a keen eye, because technically, wherever the most uh, enemy players are, that's where they're going to spawn. So if someone else killed them, they're going to spawn in that general area. So just keep it a close eye on that. Don't necessarily just look for... Um, people with the, the red box around them that is targeting them. Because if someone's got cold-blooded, maybe they've got a javelin and they're the dude that's going to take you out. So just be aware of that. Again, claymores, I'm always covering it. Um, you know, taking a fire, when I shoot, I know that the enemy's fairly close. I mean, even though I, I'm taking a couple of shots to see what I can get from that guy there. Holy crap. I can't believe I had to shoot that many times with the Akimbo uh, 18s, but... Oh, I think I'm going to die here in a second. Nope. Oh, look at that. Lucky. I'm going to horseshoe. Uh... Oh, damn it. All right. Well, whatever. Can't win every battle. I mean, the thing is, is if you, especially if you're running gunning and you're not being very tactical about it, likely you're going to get killed anyway. Especially with this strategy I take, which is trying to get away from your teammates and deep into enemy territory. You're not going to survive the entire time. So, And this is, I believe, the last guy. Oh, delicious. So that was a good uh, game, 37 and 5, I believe it was. If you want to see a more tactical approach, watch Afghan uh, Tactical Approach, and that's the strategy for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.